Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be taking a look at the Mavic Air working with DJI's new Fly app. This isn't officially supported by DJI so we can't recommend you do this at home. <laughs> The DJI Fly app is a simplified version of DJI's Go 4 app. The app removes extra features so it's not so overwhelming for beginner pilots to fly. At this stage the app only supports the DJI and Mavic Mini, but I've been able to unofficially get the Mavic Air to work in the app. So let's see how to do it and what we can actually do once we're in the app. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up the DJI Fly app. Once open, you're going to want to force close it and then reopen it once again. This may take two or three times to get right. And the second time you open the app, you should launch straight into the DJI Mavic Air's camera view. And that's it, pretty simple. Now let's get to flying and see if there are any issues. So you can see I'm just starting to go through the settings now. And you can see there's a few settings that aren't present when you connect the Mavic Mini to the app. And this is when I encounter the first problem where it thinks the SD card is full and the internal storage doesn't seem to be doing anything. So I format this a few times and still, on, and still no luck. So right about now I just decided to give up and start flying. So far the drone seems to be flying fine and the telemetry looks to be shown on screen. But one thing we are missing are the forward sensors showing up on screen when we come near a bush or an object. Now I'm taking a look at the quick shots and for some reason every time I click start it just wouldn't do anything no matter what I tried. This is similar for the shutter button for the camera but when taking photos and videos due to the SD card error before. Other than that, the GPS seems to be working fine, normal flight was working fine, and the telemetry in the bottom left corner seemed to be working as well. Along with the positioning in the bottom centre, and the data coming from the battery. 
so I didn't want to fly this too long due to the buggy app and not wanting the drone to fall into the water below. And that's pretty much it. Be sure to check back on Drone DJ so you know when you can officially fly your Mavic Air and Spark with the DJI Fly app. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.